In the Baltic Sea, NATO nations have been practicing the full range of amphibious operations. HMS Ocean played her part as the flagship in some complex wargaming, putting jets and helicopters in the air, boats and submarines in the water. This is all about alliance unity, alliance solidarity, alliance security and uh, security of the Baltic region. So the alliance has come together with a huge flotilla of forces at sea to conduct a full spectrum of operations. And I think uh, that shows a very strong message of resolve. Fifteen countries work together throughout exercise Baltops, running through scenarios from humanitarian relief to air defence to amphibious beach landings. Baltops is just one of several large-scale NATO exercises keeping Alliance troops busy. In the Norwegian Sea, 11 nations are exercising anti-submarine warfare. 13 warships and four submarines are taking part in exercise Dynamic Mongoose, along with French and German maritime patrol aircraft. On a visit to the exercise, NATO's Secretary General was welcomed on board a Norwegian frigate. With uh, new threats, new challenges, and uh, we have to respond. And that's exactly what NATO is uh, doing. Naval capabilities, uh, navies are uh, more and more important, and therefore NATO has to be able to operate uh, on the sea, over the sea, and also under the sea. And uh, that makes uh, submarine warfare and anti-submarine warfare uh, just more and more relevant for the alliance. Mr Stoltenberg went on to say exercises like this one have led to the strongest reinforcement of NATO's collective defence since the end of the Cold War. Not to provoke a conflict, but to prevent the conflict. We know that strong deterrence um, is the best way to prevent a conflict and therefore we have responded in the way we have done. When it comes to Russia, NATO's strategy is a combination of strong defence and dialogue. So more large-scale exercises like this one are likely to follow. Charlotte Banks, Forces News.